The world is facing multiple problems. We have biodiversity loss, climate change, desertification, food insecurity, poverty, disparity, and now the threat of financial collapse. It seems like there are two conversations going on, one in the developed world, which is talking about economics and technical solutions, and another one in the developing world, which is talking about survival and sustainability. I've begun to see this differently. When it comes to survival and sustainability, there's only one story for the human species, and we're all in this together. All our problems are interrelated. Far from being mysterious, they're actually the logical outcomes of the type of economic system that we've created. And this also seems to point toward the solution. We know when we see a forest, a lake, the ocean, a natural river system, the atmosphere, that it's more valuable than computers, cars, or airplanes, which are valuable for a short time, but then become trash and pollution. Natural systems are renewable. They've evolved over billions of years, and they are infinitely valuable. Now, the global economy values production and consumption. And although few understand it, speculation. This has suggested the finite derivatives shaped from the Earth's natural systems are somehow more valuable than the infinitely renewable systems themselves. This is simply wrong. We need to admit that we made this mistake. If we were to truly value natural systems, the nature would become the basis of our money and our economy. To protect nature, then, would not be a luxury, but a necessity. This brings us much closer to the truth, because we must have water, air, and fertile soils. But we just want computers, cars, and airplanes. We can change. It will not be easy, but we can and we must do it. I think there are two possibilities. If we are thoughtful and do the right thing, then we can consciously transition to a new paradigm in which human actions and the natural environment are in harmony. The other possibility is that the current system implodes from its own corruption and mistakes, and we are forced to try to salvage whatever we can of human civilization. For the sake of the children and future generations of life, we need to consciously decide to do the right thing. When we do that, we'll understand that wealth is coming from natural ecosystem function. And this will be the basis of our money. And all human actions will go to conserving and protecting and restoring ecological function on Earth. We need to shift societal intent away from the production and consumption and waste of, of the economic system as we see it now and realize that wealth is coming from natural ecosystem function. If we run out of water, if we run out of fertile soils, if we run out of air, if we alter the climate, our money is worthless. We have to understand that the true wealth on the earth is coming from natural ecological function. And if we do this, if we choose this, then our money and our economy will reflect that. And all human activity will go toward conservation and wherever the land is degraded, restoration. Because that's the way to protect wealth and that's the way to increase wealth. <laughs>